Okay, welcome back to Imperator Rome. Uh, we're playing as Byzantium. We haven't had the best of starts as Byzantium. I've had games where I've been a lot stronger at this point, but we're, we're pulling through. We're fighting Paphlagonia with our ally Macedon, who is... Uh, they're goofing a bit, I think. They're doing... They're here, sure, but they have... They play with half morale because they don't necessarily respect Paphlagonia's weak army. That's a thing. Do they have any manpower left? No, they do not have any manpower left. Do we have any manpower? Yeah, they have no ne not necessarily any manpower. I, uh... So let's see. They're gonna be leaving on... Uh... 8th and the other one on the 7th I'm gonna be there on the 4th it's gonna be there on the 37th 31st sorry so he's gonna be gone on the 8th I need to get there on the 8th I'm gonna get there. Shit. I'm gonna get there on the first. I need to get there on the eighth, I guess. That's it should work out. Maybe maybe. Yeah. Oh nice animations here, Paradox. Doing a bang up club. Are they increasing? I think they're actually increasing in morale again. Once again. him or I'm gonna fight him I'm gonna fight both I'm gonna fight both that's bad anyway let's take the fight we don't have any choice but I reckon him hard though actually just let's just focus on his capital if you want to take his shit let's just take his shit as i used to say that's a that's a saying my uh, someone told me once someone super wise if you want the shit just take the shit that's what's up yeah, we're looking at in the peace deal we're taking uh, captured some dude in the peace deal we're looking to take some area we're taking Let's reset this. We're taking, finishing off our province here, taking the coast, and taking the interior here. That's what we're looking at. It's going to increase our power base by a substantial margin. Wow. We have, we have another trade route here. Should I import some uh, wine, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Actually, I won't because that's my province. Makes horses. No, that's probably mine horses as well. Yeah, they are. Veggies. Mm -hmm. I'll take some veggies then. Just take out something. Occupying those uh, trade slots. for peace we want to increase the war exhaustion 
like the idea like war exhaustion isn't all that bad shit because of the fact that uh, it actually increases the ga the military experience you gain so it's not all bad well, that's, a, that's a win let's see how the power structure is looking in concrete he's allied with these guys are all allies and this guy is not allied with anyone so first target and then taking an all out it's gonna secure the whole island probably going for roads or something next because that's an easy target i think he might have something special as well maybe at least he has some i can see his cool statue is at least the colossus of roads so don't uh, necessarily know if it's actually gives anything rhodian gla gl glass workshop which is fine state-owned farmlands the ice is called uh close the roads yeah it actually does co commerce value civilization value as well so that's that's pretty awesome so yeah let's just finish off this war with Paphagonia because i think we only need to i don't know if we need to take this for as well Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Mm. And maybe we do. Like imagine if we were to were attacked by uh, Phrygia and this is what Macedon did, like fucking around doing nothing. Like I haven't really, they haven't done much for me, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Like they're not that useful. It feels like I don't know. I guess uh, we are playing on very hard. So, uh, not very hard. We're playing on hard. So perhaps they are uh, increasingly stupid. Because it certainly seems like it. I don't want him to get that province because of the fact that he is going to reset the timer. But he didn't go for it. Hope I just have to take their capital and not this fort as well. But we shall see. We shall see. Perhaps I can actually white piece Shalkis because they're just an annoyance at this point. I can, yeah. Good. believe that they, these guys are yeah that's used to be 37 cohorts 40,000 4.4 thousand men that's a that's a sorry sight if I ever saw one that's the ex archon who died there I am going to uh, do a little bit of a shuffle around the one light infantry behind and I'm not gonna rush him because I do not want him to take uh, that land Actually, I'm gonna have to engage him here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He switched. Nice. And he's gonna take. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. I think. I don't think I actually need that now. Hopefully, me and Macedon can finish this guy off. Yes, we can. Probably use our. Maybe I can play them against each other here. Meaning he will be there on July. He can't actually move. He's gonna be gone 27th. I'm gonna. He's gonna be there on 12th. So now oh, he stops, of course, because he's retarded. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, of course, master. You're so stupid. Come here. My God. It's like I don't know what's up with them. Like now they're slowly getting up to morale again. So you hopefully they're not gonna they're not gonna suck. Nice method and go fight them. Shame of governor. Ba, ba, ba. 
he is getting loyal now. Uh, shame of going with the band, the payment of the territory, demand his resignation. Oh, sorry. Uh, the commoners are not our problem. The commoners are not our problem. Gotta hold the triumph for this guy, because I don't mind if he actually he, he get a prognomen. The axe. He's the he's the badass general. And I don't mind him being the Archon at some point. I wouldn't mind that at all. He's a military faction guy. I'm actually gonna put him I'm gonna favor him a little bit by putting a military guy to do his bidding so to speak Let's see if that actually changes something at some point i'm gonna have to follow that guy he can't he can't uh, start removing these sieges because if he does then it's gonna reset the our timer or whatever it's called uh, ticking war score can't let that can't allow that cannot allow that so i still have a hundred percent now but still need to take these provinces senatorial resistance we have a new roller ruler that's what's up less likely to do any laws i haven't actually looked any laws for the last couple of episodes so let's maybe do that oh okay so so this is what's up Go, uh, this is what happens right now the the senate and the people of rome has proposed a war against macedon i they're asking us to actually for advice do you want to fight these people i kind of do but I don't have any borders with them so i don't really see what, what that would happen is rome would be stronger and they would get a foothold in greece meaning i would have to fight them sooner so actually for my own good so to speak i prefer them not to fight right now i need a land border with macedon and then i can start eating into greece so no i'm sorry my man And we told them to stuff it. We are actually already in a war with uh, Greece. There we go. Let's see, can I actually snatch that province? So we need a governor in Greece. It's the same faction in us as we just changed so uh that's the old uh, archon i think he's been archon a couple of times this guy i remember his death place so yeah it's gonna i'm gonna step in and that it's gonna be fine it's gonna be happy with that it's gonna be it's gonna be jolly good oh that's perfect he can't get anywhere now Macedon, you want to finish him up or something I'm gonna let uh, Macedon uh, with his 40,000 actually finish this guy off here. I uh, was hoping. Oh, sorry. I, I, was... I can take that. I can't take that because that's not occupied. I guess I have to take that siege though. I'm gonna have to take all of these provinces here. Alright, alright. We are losing food on Crete, which is not ideal. Not ideal. What are we importing right now? We are importing vegetables and fish. <sighs> can I cancel that and see if what we can do? We can can import more fish, which is from ourselves, which is actually what we're gonna do. That unfortunately means we're probably gonna lose the capital bonus of fish, which I. I uh, don't think it's that good. Free man happiness. Okay, actually, national free man. That's a pretty decent. Uh, that's a pretty decent thing. So I'm gonna have to 
cancel one of my exports of food or fish sorry I'm exporting fish to IKEA and I'm exporting to this guy I'm just gonna cancel this doesn't matter that much there we go so okay we're all good now like they don't have any they don't have any troops left we've killed them all what that means i can just walk around siege all of this down just to get the the population right slave them slave them all that's that's what we like I like to enslave them i would like to put them into my service so we are going to build i don't know the ideal like uh, how to build like these cities with these city buildings nowadays but i usually just try to put as many citizens as i can in in the cities build academica oh academy sorry and uh, library and stuff like that so i'm gonna pump down another academy our technology is slowly slowly inching its way forward going to take the weight modifier because we're going to be using a lot of heavy infantry probably and we're going to take the hmm, wrong culture happiness yes slave output yes we are going to take that build cost i don't know how that's i mean over the over the long game that's going to be useful should have taken that before if i was actually considering picking that up but Wrong culture group happiness we'll take that as well army reca morale recovery I'm just gonna save some of that cash for after the war might do some stuff here all right trade route disappeared okay that's not ideal I have to take it again while it's still there so they want earthenware from Bithynia inferior which is here I guess we have gotten enough to actually have a surplus here though. Yeah, we actually have two surplus. Hmm. I'll say yes to that for now. But maybe I'll take that to my capital at some point instead. Anyway, I'm gonna kick up the speed because everyone in this war is already dead. Macedon, you can go fuck right on. And then I'm gonna let's collect some people. I'm just gonna collecting some people, you know, like you do in a war. Collect people. While I siege down the last territory which I that I need, I'm gonna leave this area for I guess Frigia is gonna take it. Pontus might snack on it, we'll see. Armenia is looking hella fine, look at that. They're they're beautiful. Seleucid Empire still super strong, like insanely strong. Are they backtrace fighting party it seems? Thought they were go getting integrated. Yeah, they are already getting integrated, but it's going super slow, I guess. Oh no, look at that. Caesar Octavian died. First Emperor of Rome. He was a uh, he was short lived. <laughs> what happened to him though? He died severe inflammation. Oh. Oh how terrible. Oh well. Bye bye. Rest in peace, I guess. I'm gonna take land. Ooh, Pavlagonia's actually hired some mercs, I think now look at that Mer now they're, they're all about that uh helping out look at that mess like, yeah yeah we're helping out before during the whole war they were just standing there doing fuck all anyway it's all good ai is gonna ai i guess i'm gonna take my troops and i'm gonna march them to my ship i can take them here and my ships here and they're going to crete again for that fight See if Mastodon actually can fight that stack there. Hoping they're gonna take that fight. Yeah, they are, but I don't know if they're gonna win. They have a nine general against their eight. They have a pretty balanced army. 
So the Mastodon, they have a heavy armor, heavy cab though, which might turn the battle here against their other archers. Yeah, they're crushing. There we go. Foreign claims on the Crete. Argos is claiming my, my land now. I kind of want them to attack me. Like, uh, they don't have any navy, I don't believe. Uh, not substantial anyway. So, what's going on here though? Like, it seems like Thrace is in some sort of issue. I would, I would presume to conclude here. They are at war with Moesia, which are these guys. They're also at war with Macedon. Let's see. The reason Epirus is still alive is that uh, Thrace is still getting team. And uh, they're gonna die soon though. Pyrrhus is still hanging on there. He's 60 years old. Still haven't went to Italy, but... What are you gonna do? <coughs> Shared opinions. I don't want to lose money. Military factions gain two favors. Okay. Let's see actually if how I wanted that guy to become general or my general to become uh, next in line. It seems like this guy switched sides perhaps. Yeah, I could have sworn he was military guy when I put him there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put another guy there though, I guess. I need a military guy there. Doesn't matter really how much they uh, this guy's a four though, it's shit but Kinda want him. Brink on it, is that him? No. Neoptolemus. Antag. He, the axe boy. Let's call him the axe boy. I'm gonna start capturing some uh, land again. To get some slaves, some manpower, it's all good. Getting some slaves. I like slaves. Slaves are the best. It's um, it's actually funny to think about when when you consider the ancient world. Like. A lot of the slaves actually had it a lot better than uh, most of them. I mean, some slaves, like if you were a slave to some rich guy, he, he's, uh, you could have a very good life compared to like a freedman who was like tilling the fields and like s scraping shit from the streets. So, slavery in the ancient world isn't necessarily. It doesn't had the same bad connotations as it uh, perhaps like American slavery has. I mean everyone had it pretty bad back in the day so if you uh, were a slave or freedman didn't really both had it pretty bad so the only one who had it really good was the rich patricians and equestrians and stuff like that there we go the peace is signed and Byzantium is growing and it's looking pretty good now like it's, we're a major power in the region at least so we're gonna have to expand it south again to our favorite island problem is now that our boy here is gonna be thinking about how cool he is. Leather. We have three. Wow, this province, man. Look at that. Re surplus galore. Gonna have to do a um, encourage trade here. Hopefully, we can export some of this. 
This is good. He's, he's co converting the province. For now, I'm just going to march my pal here. And he is going to be... I will give you some wood. That's fine. That's fine. You can have some grain from Heracleotis. I think that's fine. Shadow of a Doubt. Pay military influence or political influence, which I haven't used. Uh, and the Archon gains popularity and stability. Lose popularity, lose... Two, oh, it's 100 points. I don't know. I don't care about his popularity. Fuck him, you know. What I'm gonna do is actually use some of my... My influence. Can I actually build a metropolis here? I, no, I need 80 popul population. We are... Not 80. So that's not what we're gonna do. Like... Even though... I try and, I'm trying to make this into a citizen place right i do have a lot of freemen here and i presume that they're actually they're not actually even migrating they are promoting but i think it's actually might be an not a terrible idea to put at least like one training camp and a tax office here because we're still gonna have like we're capturing people left, right, and center, going into all these wars, right? So they're gonna. A lot of them are gonna end up here. So even if they're still climbing to become citizens, they're at some point slave, at some point maybe freemen as well. So I'm gonna do a trading camp. Or should I though? No, academy. Can build more of that here. We're losing loyalty here. Okay, can we hold some games here perhaps? Shalkedon. Let's hold some games in Shalkedon. It should be should help somewhat at least. Hmm. It's a lot of angry people here. Hmm hmm hmm. I'm I'm gonna focus my, my money on Europa here. It's gonna be my main focus for this uh, spending my money here. I can put a fish farming settlement here. These guys are not happy at all. They don't like living here slightly. They hate it. They don't like it. Hmm. Well, we can have another library, I guess. Should that should keep them happy. You can read a book. Read a book. These guys are gonna have a. Uh, they have uh, three tax offices. This is not. What I haven't built this, but uh, Trace did. So I'm gonna leave those for now. I don't, no, mis no point in actually removing them. And I'm gonna build some libraries and then an academy here as well. Anyway, I'm gonna have to call it here, guys. Uh, in the next episode, we're probably gonna expand, take over Crete. And try to get into a war with Thrace again, somehow. At least take this province here. And then uh, Frigia is looking juicy as well, but I'm waiting for him to slip up, you know, make a make a move, you know. It's not he's not super strong. I right? have 74 cohorts, but he has a lot of um, he's making a lot of money, and he has a lot of slaves. So perhaps going into Thrace and then helping Rome with Macedon, expanding into Macedon and taking... I can lead Epirus and, and that part for, for Rome. He can take the part of... He, he can be here. I'll take this part. I'll take the rest of the eastern part here. This is the wealthy part of the, of the world anyway, so he can keep the barbarian lands. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.